Hi Felters and welcome. Today we are going to make these really cute sheep baubles. Now I think they're a fantastic beginner project and you can just adapt it to any wall you've got lying around for the colours that you want to do. So let's get started. We are going to start with the body which is the big round bit, nice and easy. I use a lot of valet sheep wool and I cut the locks off and this wool is the bits that I couldn't use from the fleece. So this is just to demonstrate you can use any wool you've got lying around for the middle of these guys. If you're doing a light coloured sheep I probably would use a light coloured wool on the inside. Um, so you just take the wool and you wrap it up nice and tightly. I'm really having to hold this one, it's um, quite a rough wool and you just try and get the initial shape by holding it all in. That's the tri needle, really helps. Um, extra, all the things that I use are attached in the description below because people ask me about them. Um, so just try and get a, a round-ish shape. You can squidge it and squeeze it a bit. It doesn't have to be super, super hard. Um, mine had quite a bit of um, squeeze left in it. I do a video on how to know when you've felted enough. Um, and so that's it, I'm quite happy with it. Let's move on to the legs. So take a bit of, this is just white carded wool. I use mostly carded wool in all my stuff because I find it really easy to felt. Some of the roving or tops can take a while to felt. So we're just doing um, a bit of a, a sort of a tube. You roll it into sort of a tube shape, hold on to one end and then round off the other end. The uh, the end of the legs have got a nice roundness to them, they don't have to be flat. Um, and then I always leave a fluffy bit at the end to help me with attaching it. So I'm rolling it backwards and forwards and then put it between your hands, give it a little roll that helps with the shape. And there he is, that's done. So there's four legs. Now we're going to attach them. So that little fluffy bit really, really helps. Um, I thought I'd put it in the wrong position, so I just pulled it off. That's the thing with needle felting, you can just pull it off and redo it, it's so easy. Um, so all around the base is where I'm needle felting to get them in, and it, I, I do do it quite strongly. I really want these legs on because you wouldn't want a leg to fall off, that'd be a bit embarrassing. And I point them outwards a little bit, just hold them in the position you want them to be in and felt, and then they sort of normally stay in that position. So there we go, that was how you do the legs. So this is the head. Uh, it's going to be bigger than the legs and it's going to be try and make it a little bit wider at the top end where the eyes are and then the nose narrows down a bit. I sort of think of it as a cone with the end cut off and rounded. And it doesn't really matter how big or small your head is because they're not realistic. So. Just make it and hold it and see what you think and see whether it looks right for the size. And then I do felt it quite a bit. Um, I make it fairly firm because you're going to be attaching the facial features. So here we go with doing the mouth. So take some black or you can use brown or, or even a dark grey, it doesn't have to be black. So I've moved in for a bit of a close up. So take the wool, twizzle it a bit and then start with either side of the mouth hold it where you want it and do either side I like to have a little bit extra than the end of it and that just pokes in so do either side and then work along and I'm using a finer needle I think this is a 40 I do a video on needles if you want extra advice on what's best um, because the more you felt this the more it's sort of going to show and disappear in so you want to be a little bit careful and I always trim off extra bits and blow them away as you do them because the black sort of is really annoying it shows on the white so that's the mouth and then we're going to do the V shape of the nose so I hold it in position and do the midpoint first I just find this is the easier way for me to do it so get the midpoint in it looks like a moustache and then take it up and do the V and as I said that it's it's good to have the extra bits at the end and if you've got too much of the extra bits those are the bits you just cut off. So just form the V shape and then cut off any extras. And like I said don't over, you have to be quite gentle with the felting here because otherwise your nose sort of disappears backwards and looks a bit squished. This is quite small detail work. 
I do a whole video on um, animal faces as well when it gets a bit more realistic doing the eyes and so this is the bit that joins the two so I get a long bit and do you see how it's, it extends past them needle felt in and it all sort of shrinks back when you're doing it otherwise and then just cut off the extra bits there we go and then just tidy up it's a little bit thick there and then I'm also going to put some pink in the nose bit in a minute but um, we just do the eyes so I hold my needle and point it backwards just to get a rough idea of where the eyes are going to be and take a tiny amount of black start smaller that was too big. If you do them too big, they do kind of look silly, so um, nice and small. And then, again, it's very gentle felting it in, and then go to the other side. Sometimes I put my needle straight through to try and get the eye level on the other side, but the left eye was slightly higher, so I squidged it down a bit. If you're trying to move wool at all, use a strong needle, a thick needle like a 36. Don't use a fine needle, it doesn't work. And then that eye, sorry I'm out of the picture, there we go. That eye um, was too small compared to the other one, so I added a tiny bit more. There we go, squidge his face so it looks back in the right shape. And, that's that. and then I'm going to do a pink nose because pink's just cute on sheep. I actually put pink in his ears, I think I forget to show you, but... Um, it's a nice highlight feature to put pink on the inside of the ears as well. So this is making the ears. We're going to make both ears on one piece, which I've seen people do in the past, and it's quite useful for these ones. It just saves a bit of time. So you're taking um, a long piece, and then you're just rounding off either end, and you fold over the edges with your needle. Again, it is just practice, and needle felt either side. Don't leave it on your mat for the whole time and then fold needle felt them slightly in half but do you see how I've done it as one continuous piece and then you just attach that back piece so it does work well and I had fluffy bits left from the back of the head where I was holding it so those help you with attaching So just needle fell him all the way through, make sure his head's nice and strong. Now this is the outer coat. You can use whatever you've got. I've just used a normal carded cut. Oh no, I'm going to attach the ribbon first. But the outside, you can use any wool you've got lying around and adapt it. So this, take the ribbon, a little bit of sewing going on here. Fold the end over so it's nice and firm. Just needle fell, um, sew it through a couple of times. Try and find the midpoint and then just do lots of sewing through the wool and it seems to hold it really quite well uh, and I do a couple of bits where I go right through the sheep and out the other side so that the the thread is really quite deep in there see that bit there so I went all the way through and then back through some little bits there and it 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 secured brilliantly so I was very happy with that it looks a bit messy at the join but you're going to cover it up so that's not a problem there we go, check he's hanging fairly central. So this is a, a blue, fla blue, blue faced Leicester wool, but like I said, you can use any wool you've got. Um, you can even take the white carded um, that I used for his head and face and just fluff it up and then just gently needle felt that on. So this is me attaching the little curls from the blue, fa blue faced Leicester, which um, it's just because I've got quite a bit of it hanging around so I thought I'd, I'd do it and it takes a while um, if it was easy everyone would do it <laughs> oh, I'm going to do his tail because I think he needs a tail um, so just take a little tiny lump of wool it's just a, going to be a tiny little bump almost probably like a rabbit's tail this is a sleeping lamb I did with the blue fle blue faced Lester wool as well um, so just to show you, I've, I've done a tutorial on him, he's really cute and that, it, the wool is just brilliant on him, it looks really great. So attach the tail, it's just a tiny little lump. <laughs> and then we're going to finish off the wool and they're done, they're so easy. 
so here we are attaching the wool it, uh, I've got quite a fine needle it does take a while just to make sure all the bits are in um, it takes a while cutting and selecting it but I just think it gives a really good effect and I've already had people asking for these as Christmas presents so obviously I think it does look quite good when it's all done and there we go hanging sheep baubles I was going to call them sheep balls but I realize that's a completely different search so sheep baubles they are so that's my valet black nose you can just adapt it to whatever sheep you like that's my herd mix um, <clears throat> he's sort of a Wensleydale but he's just cute and this one was a Suffolk sheep so I hope you've enjoyed that I've got lots more videos to come um, and thank you for watching and please subscribe, like and comment and happy felting and see you all soon.